Here's, a, here's a, uh, just a couple of uh, thought-provoking ideas that might uh, really, really help you with your stand-up and your transitions from stand-up to groundwork. So I'm going to have David whack away at me a little bit, and we'll show you a couple of things. where I've got an underhook on one side, I've got good protection here, and I'm off to the side, off, off out of the front a little bit. But to cross this distance here, I need some structures in place that are going to give me a good chance of getting across there without taking a good shot. There are many of them. The one we're looking at here, this little clip, is called the visor. And the way I developed this originally was, from a street perspective, when you're standing here in a security situation or a high threat situation, I've got one hand under the other. I might even have a fence up. I'm engaged in conversation with, my, with someone who's becoming increasingly aggressive. If suddenly he kicks off on me and starts throwing punches, I just lift this whole structure up while I do all my center of gravity and I build a good strong structure between my face and him. I'm lifting my shoulders, which takes advantage of the startle reflex or the flinch response. In other words, that's a natural hardwired response that most primates have when they get attacked or suddenly get frightened. They drop this down of gravity and lift their hands up to cover their face. So I'm taking advantage of that, the fact that I'm genetically hardwired to do that. And I'm going to lift this whole thing up and look over this crack at my opponent. So the first little drill, how we begin this, I start here, I just have him stay there, I'm here, for five seconds, none of us move, he throws some shots. And just to develop confidence in my structure, I don't move. Oh, that's the first thing. The second stage is, can I blitz across this little distance, this one meter gap, or half a meter gap, and impact on his, on his chest with the front end of this structure? It goes like this. Done. Done. Once I'm in there, and once I've impacted on his chest here, what I want to do is change around so I'm driving what we call the monster. The, mon the reason we call this the monster is that there was a doorway there full of monsters on the other side. They're all trying to get in the room. I'm trying to hold them away. The best way for me to hold them away would not be to press against that doorway with my hands, where the hinge joints of my elbows, wrists, and shoulders can start to collapse under the pressure. If I'm front on and it's really driving, my spine's gonna to start to give. The best way to hold pressure here is when you go side on, lean in there, create a solid line between my left leg and my right shoulder. That's my best chance of holding that door shut and keeping the monsters at bay. Okay, so I'm, uh, once I've cleaned and entered to here, I'm then going to morph to that position. So it goes like this. Now the great thing about this position here is I'm pretty covered up, but the best thing about it is he can't get an underhook on me. Whereas if I was flying on trying to fish for the underhook, there'll be a 50-50 proposition as to who got it. But once I'm sideways like this with my hand down here, almost certainly I'm the one that can claim that, that all-important underwear. I'm going to talk about that in a moment. Okay? So, I go visor, I crash across that barrier, I impact on his chest with the front end of my visor, I morph to the shoulder, drive him a bit, and I claim the underwear. Once I've got the underwear, my left hand can go onto the outside of his head, can come to this wrist, can go around his body, there's a lot of places this hand can go. Right for now, I'm going to leave it right there. It looks like this. Okay, now from here, one of two things is going to happen. One, he keeps striking with his hand or just lays it there, in which case I can wing it up and take control of the guy's back. Secondly, he can lock down on it, in which case I can't get his back, and then I drop this from the shoulder to the arm, pull him around and, take, and touch the floor with my left hand. That gets control of his head. From this position, I can set myself up to do virtually anything. I can let him, I can jack in the box in, which means I let him come up. Now I've got him control here for any number of techniques. I think if I want to shoot a low single, I get my feet right, my left hand's down, hang on his neck, I let him go, he comes up, there's my entry for the low single. 
I control his arm, I take my left hand through here, I let him come up, there's my entry for the back. I get my left foot forward, I let him come up, I shoot that high double. So, putting all of that together, here's what it looks like. So there you go, there's a couple of, a couple of easy tips on how to cover that distance in a pretty safe way and enter from uh, stand up to clinch and taking the guy down. Hope it helps you. But if you are looking for any more detailed work on this, particularly on grappling or our curric complete grappling uh, curriculum, just visit our site at www.grappling.us.